<laughs> Look who's back. I think it's time. I think it's time for the Fruit Tree Boys to throw a little party. A little fiesta, <laughs> if you will. This is the Fruit Tree Fiesta. <laughs> Welcome to the tree nursery, guys. This is where we put all the trees that we always tell you we're gonna plant and we never plant them. Classic. Well, not today. <laughs> we're actually planting them we're for over the first it. time. I'm over it, but when I'm not over are these figs. Look at these things. Do a little break here, huh? Yeah, well, the problem is none are actually quite ripe yet. The ones that were, we ate in the last video. But this is the sexiest little fig tree I've ever did see. But anyways, we're not here to talk about the figs. We're here to complete the citrus hedge. It's been a year and four, five, six in the months. Making. Happening. Yeah, so there's two more trees to go in. So let's select those right now, Jacques. Looks like we've got the calamansi here. And then I've got the Oro Blanco. The <laughs> thing is heavier than I thought. <laughs> it's looking good. Perfect for a fiesta, right? <laughs> so here's palama. what we were thinking. The calamansi, it's, I can't say I'm gonna be using this, certainly all the fruit. I mean, you, you, you kind of physically can't. I certainly can. not But my fellow Filipinos, I can't not plant it, okay? So even if I don't use it all, it's gonna sit there, it's gonna look very good. Salamat, okay? So then That's we real. wanted a mellow gold grapefruit. Couldn't get it, so we have the Oro Blanco, another great variety. Let's uh, hoist these over, bring, bring them to like the It's like I got the easy one. You got the easy one, yeah. <laughs> oh. So the problem with this, the challenge we're gonna run into right now, guys, is you remember, we chainsawed down the old grapefruit <laughs> and we hit it with a stump grinder in our last episode a little bit ago. It was done in style. It was, it was done in style, but the problem is we've got this irrigation hookup, fully functional. It's actually really nice the way we set this up. Remember, it's that flexible tubing. So you just move it out of the way for now. But if we're following our citrus hedge rules of four feet, four feet, four feet, which is very tight, but- it's just what we did. That's what we did it kind of puts it right in this, this zone here. And so you're thinking, literally ripping out another stump? I think we might be able to cut it out with a quick saw. <laughs> I just watched you spring back. <laughs> oh, I heard, I heard the crack. Oh, or is that the handle? Is that the handle? <laughs> I don't know. That's what might take. You remember that game operation? Yeah. As a kid? I was um, decent. I was gonna say maybe bad. <laughs> We gotta shake your hands. Do you? And in a future episode, guys, what we're gonna have to do is actually extend our irrigation system because there's a couple plants here that just aren't on the plumbing uh, because they didn't exist when we set it all up. So you'll see that in the future app. I see some chips. Might need some stoggles though. Coming through with Thor's hammer. <laughs> there's no way I'm doing this correctly. I think I got oh, it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there we go. How much human effort to just do that? Imagine if we didn't have a stump grinder. Imagine being in 2000 BC. <laughs> That's your whole life. I think we've talked about this before, but we're going high because citrus likes to breathe. It yep. doesn't want to sit in anything wet. And we don't really get that much rain, but when we do, we don't want it to just sit in that water. Well, what we've noticed too is the clay here, guys, is very clay. And so when you do get that rain, it stays wet for weeks, weeks, weeks. Yep. And honestly, we did that very high method and look how the citrus orchard has done. Mm -hmm. I don't think we need to be concerned about switching it up when nope. we know what we just did works really well. What we're gonna do now, guys, we'll cover this up with mulch. We'll throw a hose on this to just let this soak in. And we'll show you the next plant that just came in I didn't even know it was coming, but one of my favorite fruits of all time. I've never had it. Well, here we are, my friends. This is the Kohala Longan, also known as Dragon's Eye. It is in the soapberry family. It is related to lychee. It is related to rambutan. So any of those sort of fruits that have that translucent flesh. Does it taste similar? I've never actually it's had a Longan. It tastes meat. similar. Yeah, okay. it tastes similar. It's, you'd have to have them side by side by side to really say this one tastes like this. You know? They're, I know that I like lychee more than rambutan. I like rambutan simply for the look of it. The look, the look yeah. is incredible, yeah, it does that, look really that cool. sort of spiky thing. Okay, so what we're putting it in is, we, th we thought we had a place for this in the garden. Turns out we overcalculated a little bit. Weirdly, with this much space, we're still finding ourselves a little crammed. But what we have here is just a five gallon air pot. I actually have been using these maybe since the beginning of Epic Gardening. That's in a my, long time. my Yeah, in my old place. <laughs> and so this is a five gallon. We actually carry that on the store now if you want to check it out. It's kind of cool, it like folds up. 
and then you screw it in with these little little guys right here. But either way, a good way to, to put it into a holding zone. Exactly. The yeah. thing that I potted up my avocado and my lychee into one of these because you could make the mix pretty heavy and retain a lot of water and the roots can always have access to oxygen. Yeah. So when we want to transplant it, we just unscrew it. Unscrew it. Yeah, the that's, the, that's the beauty go. of it. You should, yeah. should unscrew it. So that'll it. be really cool. This is just a standard raised bed mix. So it's not ideal, but we've got a pile of it. You should use what you have around the garden. And it does have a little compost, which is nice. Yeah, there's some stuff in here. Sorry if I'm dusting you a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> now we are just going to hit it with a little water and we'll put this back in the nursery for now. Why don't you guys tell us where you think we should put it in the homestead? Because we're a little strapped for ideas right now. <laughs> All right, Jacques, why don't you tell the folks the redemption story we're about to undertake? We're going to go two avocados, one hole. And let's just say this is the third. It's at least the second time. It's at least, it's the, at second least time. the second time. It's the second two in one. Honestly, not our fault. I'll say that much. Yep. The, first, the first one, I actually don't remember what happened, but the last one got moved twice because it was exactly where the pond was. Yeah. So Would you rather have work. a pond or sacrifice your avocados? I think we know the answer, guys. That thing is beautiful. It's been answered. Well, here we have them. The two brothers that are going in, <laughs> Haas and Fuerte. I think got the Fuerte. You got the Haas. Here's the logic, guys. If you remember from a very old video, we tried to put it right over there. We thought we'd be blocking the water tank, and that would have been true, but it just was where the pond is gonna be. We've decided we're gonna put a passion fruit trellis there, which will be coming up on the main channel, but this area, we still want to keep it in this area. Why? Look right there. That is where our neighbor's avocado tree is. We don't know the variety, but we do know that it's an avocado and it should increase pollination. Right, and both, I think one of these is type A, one's type B. Yes. This is bound to be either A or B. So yeah. overall, more production. We either have two A's and a B or two B's and an A. Either way, it's gonna work out yeah. really well. So we're gonna do the double. What were you thinking, like here? Yeah, I'm thinking literally right where you're standing. So okay. far enough away from the pond that the canopy eventually might give it a little bit of shade, far enough away from the wall so that we're not dealing with any encroaching on our neighbors and the canopy spread is still accessible on our side and then far enough away from this area, there might be an epic jacuzzi, and then far enough away from this zone so it doesn't encroach on a future growing spot. So I'm gonna start digging. Maybe I'll get another shovel. Yep. <laughs> 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 wow, I feel like this soil, Woo. this is some hard soil in here, dude. Woo. All right, so avos, don't touch these roots. Just let them go. Just don't touch them at all. I'm so tempted though. I really want to like. Just like. All right, so now it's just a gentle backfill. No stress, no problems. All right, the boys are sweaty here. Some dusty brows. Looks like, <laughs> honestly guys, that Fiesta got a little too crazy for <laughs> yeah. me. Got a little too loco for both of us. <laughs> we might need to take a dip in the pond. We'll finish it off here with a little watering montage. You gotta get these plants in the ground and then you have to water them in well. Remember, this was just like some topsoil fill <laughs> with a little bit of the native. And so you need to make sure you actually settle bad. that soil around. And we'll keep an eye on these over the next, I don't know, month or so while we get irrigation set up. But until next time, guys, thanks for joining the Fiesta. Good luck in the garden and keep on growing. Salamat.